This is a video for the side-by-side -side pair installation decor built-in 30-inch column refrigerator with a stainless steel custom door panel. Installation should be done by the qualified installer. Read our installation manual prior to watching this video. This video only shows limited information on securing the products. You must read the installation manual to get more information about safety. Three symbols or labels indicate danger, warning, and caution. These symbols or labels should bring installers' attention to important points in the manual. Whenever you see these symbols or labels, read the message carefully before moving forward. Danger Immediate hazards that will result in severe personal injury or death. Warning Hazards or unsafe practices that could result in severe personal injury or death. Caution, hazards or unsafe practices that might result in minor personal injury or property damage. If you have any questions or problems with installation, contact your Decor dealer or the Decor customer service team. Call Decor Distinctive Service if your Decor appliance is under warranty. Have your appliances model serial numbers when you call. Applications Installation Conditions This refrigerator is a built-in style refrigerator, meaning that the refrigerator requires installation inside a recess in existing kitchen cabinetry. Before moving the refrigerator, clear the route to the location where it will be installed. Check all product dimensions and the tipping radius with any doorways, hallways, stairs, corners, etc to ensure a clear passageway. You can find detail specification in installation manual. Warning, tip hazard. This appliance is relatively heavy on the top and prone to tip over when not securely installed. Keep doors taped closed until refrigerator is in its final position and ready to be secured in place. The subsurface must be level and even in order to ensure that the appliance is securely installed and works correctly. The subsurface must be made from a hard, non-flexible material to cover the weight of appliance. The weight of appliance varies in accordance with the size. And the cabinetry must be exactly square or else an unwanted gap will be seen. Cabinetry special requirements vary with the size of units, such as 18 inch, 24 inch, 30 inch, 36 inch. Cabinet depth of 25 inch is same as all units regardless of unit size and includes the standard door panel thickness of 3 4 inch. Cabinet width allows the refrigerator trim to be attached directly to the surrounding cabinets. Cabinet height 84 inch is same as all units regardless of unit size. It is so flexible that you can install our product even your cabinet is not exactly 84 inch just in case you lay the beautiful tiles on the floor. Decor product can adjust the height from 83 and 3 8 inch to 84 and 3 8 inch by using four height alignment jack and custom door panel alignment mechanism. In case of installing two units as side by side type or two, Three unit installing using partition, cabinet size should be designed accordingly. Minimum thickness of the partition is 5 8 inch. There is no supplied trim kit for this partition. By factory default, the door opens by 115 degrees. You can use the limiter pin to adjust the opening angle down to 90 degrees, depending on the installation conditions. The pin is included in the user manual plastic bag. It must be plugged into a dedicated, grounded, electrical outlet. If only a two-prong electrical outlet is available, it is the responsibility of the customer to have it replaced with a dedicated, properly grounded three-prong electrical outlet. The electrical outlet is located on the 80-inch from the bottom and the range is different in accordance with the unit's width with a gap 5 inch from the left side wall. 
a cold water supply with water pressure from 30 to 120 psi is required to operate the water dispenser and ice maker. If you have questions about your water pressure, call a licensed qualified plumber. Before connecting the refrigerator's water line to the house's main water supply, you need to familiarize yourself with the house's plumbing layout. Then, decide how best to use the plumbing layout. Tap into the main water line while following these requirements. The water line must be long enough to provide slack to allow the refrigerator to be moved for floor cleaning and service without disconnecting the water line. All new installations must meet local plumbing code requirements. The water shutoff should be placed in the base cabinet on either side of the refrigerator or in some other easily accessible area. The water line must be arranged as the picture to avoid knots or damage and to connect easily with water filter in the unit. Water line must be arranged by considering the width of the product because the range of water line varies in accordance with the width of the product. After arranging water line, we recommend that you attach it onto the floor using removable tape to secure the position. The depth and height is the same as all product. Depth is 23 and 13 16th inch and height is 83 and 3 8 inch. This does not include custom door panel. There are four different width size, 17 and 5 8 inch, 23 and 5 8 inch, 29 and 5 8 inch, 35 and 5 8 inch. The custom panel weight is limited in accordance with product size due to the hinge limit load. If custom panel weight exceeds maximum weight, we cannot guarantee that the door hinge will operate correctly. Application Unpacking In order to unpack, remove PP band, packing case, styrofoam, and plastic bag. Remove the brackets from the pallet by unscrewing the bolts, five per bracket. This appliance is large, heavy, and tips easily when not secured. Always move the refrigerator in an upright position if possible. If not, move the refrigerator on its side. Secure the doors shut during transport. Warning! The appliance is very heavy. When moving the refrigerator, all personnel must take care not to injure themselves or the appliance. Use two or more people to move and install the refrigerator. Failure to do so can result in death or serious injury. Be very careful to avoid floor damage. Delicate flooring should be protected with plywood, hard cardboard, or similar material. Before moving the refrigerator, verify that it will fit through all door openings, stairwells, and overhead obstructions. Warning: To keep the unit from tipping forward, an anti-tip bracket must be installed. Before attaching the bracket, ensure that no electrical wiring or plumbing is in the area where the screws will penetrate. One such bracket per appliance is required. For 36-inch model, place two anti-tip brackets at intervals. Bracket height is measured from the floor and depends on the cabinet height. Attach the anti-tip brackets to the stud. Usually, a stud is spaced every 16 inch. Use all three screws to hold the bracket tightly. The anti-tip brackets must extend at least 2 inch over the appliance to secure the appliance. If this minimum length cannot be observed for structural conditions, it is possible to do this by fastening a spacer behind the anti-tip bracket. It is possible to do this by fastening a spacer, wood, behind the anti-tip bracket. In case of concrete wall, use holder lock to secure. Installation parts. Installation parts vary in accordance with single or pair installation. 
Lever, lower plate, upper plate is for pair installation to join two units. These are purchased as an accessory from Decor and its dealers. The toe kick is attached on the kick plate. Toe kick can be purchased as an accessory from Decor and its dealers. Refrigerator top cover is attached on the top of unit. Anti-tip bracket is attached on the back wall. Cabinet side trims are attached on both sides of the unit and center trim is attached in the middle of two units. Center trim is purchased as an accessory from Decor and its dealers. Panel bracket is attached for custom panels. Lower door cap, cap, air guide are attached to the door's lower side. Door side trims are attached to the both sides of the door. Application pre-installation. You need to remove the upper door cap and kick plate before you adjust the custom door panel. Remove the upper door cover. Remove the four screws fixing the cap door. Remove the Wi-Fi module cover on the inside of the cap door. Disconnect housing connectors to separate upper door cover. Remove the grill. In case of freezer, loosen the two screws. And fridge loosen the three screws to remove the grill. Remove the kick plate. Remove the screws on both sides and remove the kick plate. The center cabinet side chassis should be repositioned. Remove the set center cabinet side chassis. Then reattach 7 16th inch back from their original position. In case of single installation, it is not needed to reattach cabinet side chassis. Attach a big size insulator with thickness 1 4th inch, which is in pair installation kit, on either side of the contacting surfaces. If a fridge and freezer are paired side by side, attach on the freezer with covering the screws on the side chassis. And attach small insulators with thickness 1 8 inch each on side of the freezer and fridge, as shown with covering the screws on the side chassis. But 36 inch fridge, attach big size insulator with thickness 1 8 inch on the contacting surface. Attach two small size insulators each on both sides of the freezer or fridge, as shown with covering the screws on the side chassis. Only 36 inch, attach big and small size insulator on any one side of the product. Side-by-side -side installation pairing. Attach the rectangular bracket to the protruding tabs on the top of each chassis. Attach the lever to connect the two chassis, and then insert the bracket in the groove at the bottom of the two chassis. Attach the lever to connect the two chassis. Moving the refrigerator into its enclosure. According to the type of cabinet, such as frameless, overlay a jig can be used to align the refrigerator's custom door panel with cabinet by marking vertical line on the cabinet. Using the jig, Mark the vertical sides of the furniture parallel for depth alignment. Place packaging cardboard or plywood in the refrigerator's path to protect the flooring while moving the appliance. Before positioning the product in the cabinet, plug in the power cord. Then, Attach the power cord near the front of the cabinet opening using tape 
or fixer such as clip, pin, etc. After positioning the product inside the cabinet, make sure the power cord is positioned on the top of the product. Carefully push the refrigerator into its enclosure. Align the forward edge of the chassis with a vertical line you marked on the cabinet. Caution! As you push the refrigerator into its enclosure, take care not to damage the water line and power cord. Height Alignment Before height aligning, Remove the lever to make easy adjusting. Using your drill and the bit shown the video, engage each of the refrigerator's adjuster shafts in turn and level the refrigerator. Clockwise is up and counterclockwise is down. Adjust the gap between the furniture and upper chassis cover to 1 8 inch. The front and rear leveling legs have a maximum height adjustment of 3 4 inch. Attach again the lever to connect the two chassis. Attaching cabinet top cover. Light intensity sensor is attached to the top cover. Before attaching the top cover, first connect the light intensity sensor connector and then fix the hook in order. One, two, three. Securing the refrigerator. Open the door and secure the refrigerator to its enclosure with M4X16 screws. Attach the installation to the front of refrigerator door. Ensure the mounting position is correct. Center the door panel and the insulation. Attach to the insulator 4 inch position from top of the ready door. Attaching panel bracket. Attaching panel bracket with stainless steel panel. Drive 10 screws each to the top and bottom brackets as shown in the video. Caution! The other holes on each side of the bracket are for a different application. Attaching panel bracket with wood or other panel. Mark hole positions on every corner of the panel according to the template. and drive the screws into the holes. Attaching panel bracket with recessed back panel, if, by the nature of its design, the panel cannot be attached at the center of the bracket, use the whichever suitable screw holes on the sides of the bracket to attach the panel. Aligning the panel. Put the reinforced handle support on the rear of the door panel and then put the handle on the front of the door panel. As shown, tighten the four screws on each of the upper and the lower sides of the handle. Do not tighten them excessively. Warning: Do not attach custom panel to the cabinetry before fixing the appliance to the cabinet side chassis. This appliance is relatively heavy on the top and prone to tip over when not securely installed. Failure to do so can result in death or serious injury. Hang the panel bracket on the height adjustment screw. Fix the custom panel temporarily onto the side of the door by loosen tightening the screw in the center of the panel. For adjusting the custom panel vertically, loose 12 screws and reposition the panel accordingly.
There are two panel adjustment mechanisms at the top and two at the bottom of the door. Adjust the panel so it aligns with the surrounding cabinetry. To adjust the top of the door, use the double threaded bolts to align the door panel. Engage a side screw to shift the panel side to side. Use screw 1 to move the panel forward. Use screw 2 to move the panel backward. To adjust the bottom of the door, side screw to shift the panel side to side. Use screw 1 to move the panel forward. Use screw 2 to move the panel backward. After the alignment, Fix the panel to door with nuts and screw. First screw nuts onto the double threaded bolts and tighten and then fix the panel side bracket by tightening all 24 screws. Attach the upper door cover. Connect wire to the four housing connectors and close the Wi-Fi module cover. Dry four screws and attach the cover. Lower door cover. Attach the lower door cover by driving the screws from the front. Attach the caps over the screw holes. Connecting water of the appliance. To prevent leaks and water damage, be careful not to kink the water line. Remove the cap from the appliance connection. Bend the water line according to the location of the connection on the appliance. Slide the union nut and seal onto the water line. With the open end wrench, tighten the union nut being careful not over tighten. Open the shutoff valve and main water tap. Check the connection on the shutoff valve and on the appliance for leaks. Push the water line into the guard tube as far as possible. Drive screws into both sides of the kick plates shown. Final Attachment Part There are three types of trims, cabby side trim, door side trim, and center trim. Cabby side trim is attaching the trim between the refrigerator and the cabinet. Door trim side is attaching trim to the door's side bracket. Center trim is attaching the trim between the refrigerator chassis. Attach the trim top cover on the bottom of the top cover. Attaching toe kick plate. With a star head screwdriver, turn the adjusting screw to control the door spring. I means maximum spring tension and O means no spring tension. IQ check. Activate HASS application on your mobile. Input group code and personal code to log in. Select refrigerator. After checking installation information, press the start button. Press the connect button on your phone and then press the filter reset and control lock simultaneously for five seconds on the product display. Now connecting mobile device and refrigerator. It is connected directly without router and proceed next step. Press the start button to diagnose your refrigerator. It will take about five minutes. After the diagnosis completion, proceed installation photographing step. Find remark and then input installation result, for instance, installation complete. Take a picture and upload client environment, bottom horizontal, door gap, 
product location. You can find out picture in the gallery. Press the Register Warranty button to complete product enrollment. Visit Decor website and input warranty code. Press the Confirm to complete. Home Appliance Remote Management HRM can be used to figure out product defect when the service call comes into. Prior to the remote diagnosis service, Service Center explained the way in which can know the PIN code to a customer. After receiving the user PIN code, start the remote diagnosis. When an abnormality was detected, explain the defect to a consumer and manage with the remote. In any case that cannot resolve by remote diagnosis, Servicer can visit customer's house to repair with grasping a problem in advance. In some case, we can solve a problem by using software upgrade. Update the software with a remote diagnosis. Service HAS Using Service HAS, Servicer can diagnose whether the product has defect or not. Activate HASS application on your mobile. Input group code and personal code to log in. Select refrigerator. Press the connect button on your phone and then press the filter reset and control lock simultaneously for five seconds on the product display. Now connecting mobile device and refrigerator. It is connected directly without router and proceed next step. After connecting, info window will show up. Press the error code to find out symptom, cause, and repair guideline. Error code will be displayed up to five. If you need to run the failure diagnosis, press the diagnosis, then select self-diagnosis or individual diagnosis. When selecting self-diagnosis, Error code will be showed up after checking product automatically. Servicer can repair product using repair guideline. Each component, such as fan, lamp, heater, can be checked rapidly and independently using individual diagnosis. Using monitoring tab, you can check the status of sensor, motor, switch, etc. on a real-time basis. Press the Send button to complete. The following checklist should be completed by the installer to ensure that the refrigerator is safely and correctly installed, functions properly, and that no part of the installation has been overlooked.